Today we're going to talk about AVR fuses, how to use them and what to watch out for. AVR devices contain up to three fuse bytes stored in non-volatile memory, low, high and extended. They are used for configuration of specific important settings and are purposely separated from executing code. Fuses are not affected by chip arrays and can only be altered by an external programmer or debugger, so settings configured in this way are very persistent. Fuses are read by the device at power up in normal mode or when entering programming mode. A fuse bit is programmed at active when it has a value of zero. Care should be taken when changing the fuses as incorrect programming of some bits can result in a brick device, such as those that disable debug interfaces, alter reset pin functionality, or select an invalid clock source. Slow or undefined behavior may also be caused by fuse bits that change the clock source, divide the clock, define startup time, or enable the watchdog timer. Fuses are a very fast and effective way of configuring your device. A sufficient amount of time should be spent understanding the fuse bits and their functions in the datasheet, as they will vary slightly between devices. Now we're going to have a look at how to program the fuses. Okay, so I have Atmel Studio open and my Atmega 324PB Explain Pro connected. So go to Tools, Device Programming, select your tool, your device, and your interface, and click Apply. Read the device signature to make sure you have a stable connection. You go to the Fuses tab, where you can see all of the fuses displayed in a GUI. So just to demonstrate how to program your fuses with Atmel Studio, I'm going to set the clock div 8 bit, which divides the clock by 8. So as you can see, it indicates that this fuse has been changed in the GUI, but not programmed to the device. So click Program. And in the display window at the bottom, it will say that it's verified. So to demonstrate that this is not, these fuses are not affected by chip arrays, I'm going to erase my device in Memories Arrays, and then read the fuses again. And my clock debate bit is still set. So I'm going to undo that and show you how to do it in command line. So we can use AT program. So set your tool, your interface, and your device. And then to set the fuses, we're going to write with an FS flag and use hex values. So to set the clock debate bit from default values, I'm going to write 6F. 91 F6. So these hex values are in this order low, high, and extended bytes. And press enter. So then that was completed successfully. So to read the fuses, we use, well, I use info, which displays similarly to the GUI. So as you can see in the low byte, there's the clock debate bit on. Now to demonstrate that again that this is not affected by chip arrays. It's still set. So now I'm gonna write default values again. Now the clock debate bit is off. And that's it.